down the bat. What happened to your nose? I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody slap you with it. Hey, welcome back to our Saturday Action Idiots. I'm Corbin. I want to apologize on behalf of Corbin Miles for being a stupid idiot. Hey, I didn't hear it. I cut it off. No. <laughs> you cut it off? And, yeah, I did. Get it? And uh, thank you for the social Patreon and follow us official Twitter account. Where else can they follow us for juicy content? Instagram and Twitter. Instagram and Twitter. Come on. Juicy content. It's so juicy. Today, we are reacting to... Um, is the juicy content fresh or frozen? Always frozen, never fresh. Uh, <laughs> we are reacting to a trailer. It's a uh, trailer of the movie Hey Ram. Hey Ram. Hey Ram. Those were the last words of Gandhi. It was simultaneously made in Tamil and Hindi with the same cast. It stars Kamal Hussan and, and SRK. SRK. It is India's official submission to the Oscars in 2000. And those were uh, apparently Gandhi's last words. Hey Ram, was that, does that mean like, oh God? Because that's what I remember. Maybe they'll tell us in the trailer. Ben, ben Kingsley's version, when he's dying, <clears throat> he gets shot and he says, oh God. Oh, maybe it means hey Ram. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Okay. And they may not have been true to what actually occurred. Maybe so. not. Uh, cool. So. And this was the official submission of 2000. Yeah. Awesome. Here we go. I mean, Kamal Hassan and Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah. good he didn't say a word but i got everything that was happening sure did i made, that made me want to see it yeah geez wow i didn't why have i not heard about this till now i probably have i'm sorry <laughs> i'm not blaming I'm you sure, i'm sure we have i'm not blaming you wow man that looked yeah i and like i said i hadn't seen the gandhi film yeah so i did i obviously i knew gandhi was dead but i didn't know how he died but yep. I, he was, I knew he was nothing. assassinated shot point blank range um why, for religious reasons? Yes. The guy was, he didn't like what he there said was big, There was big problems, as there have been for many, many years, yeah. between Hindus and Muslims. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man. That looked, and SRK looked really cool. Also, I know you have told us this. Kamal Hassan, he plays, he plays a lot of different kind of characters. Mm -hmm. Like, he likes to do different, like, because I hardly ever recognize him, because I think he likes to transform a lot. A lot like, um... Um, KK Menon. Yeah. Yeah. Which is cool. Yep. Uh, but yeah, man. And I did not, I did not know that also was the writing directing credits for this. So clearly a passion project here. Hold on here. I'm going to look. 
look up the uh, synopsis if I remember it real quick. Official. Hey, Ron. Okay, right here. Saketh Ram's wife is raped. This is not the same story. Maybe is it? Maybe. It's all the same. Yeah, people. I guess it is. Saketh Ram's wife is raped and killed during direct action day riots in Calcutta. He's convinced that Mahatma Gandhi is responsible for all the problems happening in the country and sets out to kill him. So is this the, the story of the guy who shot him? I don't know. Ooh, that's interesting. Interesting indeed. A story from... Did they ever do that, like... A story from um, the guy who shot JFK? The guy? Yeah, what's his name? I don't know his name. Well, who allegedly was the only guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah no, I don't... Yeah, there's a... There's been a couple of films that have done it uh, from telling you his vantage point but because so many people most of the films that depict JFK only depict him in in light of the fact that he was a pawn that was used yeah and he wasn't the only one involved yeah um or like I don't I don't know for example you could go down a long list of things like how many films have ever been done that tell you the, the assassination of Lincoln from the perspective of John Wilkes Booth there's been a few right has there I think there has I know there's been some that have touched upon him I've read books yeah like I've read a book about Lincoln's assassination that dove deeply into John Wilkes Booth I've also read a book deep into JFK's assassination that went into Lee Harvey Oswald but um yeah I, I'm guessing that's what that is that's what it looks like at first first glance that that's the perspective yeah of it looks like Kamal Hassan plays plays, plays the guy who Ram. killed what's a movie that recently came out oh wow it also has uh, Ronnie this also is Ronnie. Ronnie McCurdy? Yeah. On Sarah and Shaw, Om Puri. Dang. Wow. It's quite a cast. Does are... she pronounce it McCurdy or Muckerjee? It's spelled differently. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I. There's a movie. I, why do I feel like there's a movie that recently came out that depicts the story of a, of, of a notorious murder or assassination and it's telling you the story from the killer's perspective well anyway I think, I think we saw a couple trailers with Raj Kumar playing a terrorist we did Remember? yeah but I mean like one we would all know like Lee Harvey Oswald John Wilkes Booth uh, I don't know if one's ever been on a Mark David Chapman it's who such killed a, John it's Lennon it's so interesting to do a film from their perspective because a lot of people will hate that yeah because certain people as we know think every single film is if, if it's about a bad person, you're glorifying what they did. Right. As opposed to telling... Telling a, a story. A, a human interest story. Um, regardless of if the person is an evil yeah, person. Yeah, and I would lo I'd love to know, what was the reception of this in terms of, if this is the case, telling a story of the, the man who was responsible for killing Mahatma Gandhi? Yeah, that's... I guess I should watch Gandhi. I don't know. No? I mean, you... In American cinema, it's an iconic film that was nominated for like eight Academy Awards, one Best Picture, one Best Director, one Best like Actor. Best performance, isn't it? Ben Kingsley's? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and again, there's a cameo by Daniel Day-Lewis. Oh, yeah. But I don't know how it's... I don't know if it's westernized portrayal as far as the history. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Uh, like, I guarantee most of the things we've ever seen about Churchill are done from a Western perspective. Oh, yeah, we didn't. Yeah. We thought Churchill was so one of the best. I, I, my one suspicion the best is that Richard Attenborough's take on Gandhi is going to be the West's perception of him mm. and not give you the full panorama of who he was and everybody else surrounding him in history, which is what most Indians would do. Well, this Without was, taking anything away from Gandhi's contribution. Well, this is really interesting to me. I loved the trailer. Well, no, there was Great no trailer. dialogue. Really? Yeah, uh, great music, but I could feel it. Uh, I'm really interested in the cast of it. Yep. Uh, we need to explore Kamal Hussan. Yeah, and anytime somebody's acting, directing, and writing it, I'm really interested because that, th this is a passion project. They're invested in this thing. Yeah, so let us it know. means a lot. Let to us them. know how this was. 
is this how we should be introduced to Kamal Hussan? Well, and it's an entry to the Oscars, so clearly... Yeah. Well, Gully Boy was technically... Yeah, yeah, well, but, but again, anything I think that's going to be submitted to the Oscars is going to have a level of artistic merit that's yeah. pretty high. Yeah. So, yeah, let us know, guys. Let us know uh, down in... Um... And yeah, you should probably watch Gandhi. But I'd love to know your take on it. For those of you who've seen Richard, At Richard Attenborough's Gandhi, I'd love is to know there, Is think. there a better interpretation of Gandhi, uh, a film that India has put out? Yes. Uh, and, again, we know that Gandhi was not the end all be all, but he's the only one we know. He was also a big part of the history as well. Yes. So. <laughs>